um, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. Um, first, I want to apologize for taking so long to upload a new video. I've had a lot of stuff going on um, to a death of a family member, well, a death of my father, actually, and then me moving, and I had a whole bunch of things going on. So because of that, it's been a while since I've uploaded a video, but I'm going to start a new series. It's called um, Card a Day in the Month of May. So I'm going to try because I've gotten to the point where I've purchased a whole bunch of tools and stamps and things of that nature, but I haven't had a chance to really do anything. And then when events are coming up like birthdays or graduations or anything like that, I don't have any cards on hand because I don't have time to make any. So my plan is to make one card a day, different um, occasions, different colors, different techniques, whatever, and upload it for you guys so you can check it out and see what I've been doing. I'm trying to create sketches to go with these cards so it's easier to follow along. So before the video started, you probably saw the sketch for today. And um, also, if you want to join in with me and make some of your cards using the sketches, please do and upload them as a, a reply to this video so I can see them and check them out. I think that'll be a lot of fun. So the card I'm going to make today is just going to be a really an all occasion card. It could be for a birthday, it could be for uh, congratulations, but it's going to be catered to our female um, recipients. And I want to do something where maybe you could put a gift card in it or maybe to Bed Bath & Beyond, Victoria's Secret or something like that. So these are the items I'm using. I know it looks like a bunch of a mess, but this is a penny black stamp. It's um, Mimi and a tub and I just discovered these and I love them. I have so many of them now. I'm also using a Lawn Fawn stamp and this one's called Say Cheese and it's basically a clear stamp that looks like a Polaroid and there's some other stuff on the stamp set. I'm using a paper stack by DCWV called The Garden Party and this one is fairly old and I haven't done that much with it so I'm not sure if they still sell it. Um, I'm using some Stays on Ink of course. I have this new Sizzix die that I purchased called Create a Flower. I want to use that for the front. And this will be my first time using it, so I have no idea what it's going to look like. I have some Tim Holtz Distress Inks. I'm going to use Victorian Velvet and tea dye. And then for my sentiment, it says Celebrate You. And like I said, it could be... Is this backwards? Okay, it could be... Um, you know, birthday, all occasion, congratulations, you just got a new job, you got engaged, anything like that. So I'm um, going to use that. And then I already have my paper selected. I have a brad for my creative bow. So let's get started. I've already done a couple things just to get started. Um, my card size is going to be a 5 by 7 so I just took an 8.5 by 11 and cut it at 10 by 7 and scored it in half. I have a mat that's going to go on top of it. This is a 4 by 7 5 by 6 by 7 5 and to get rid of this white I'm going to use some Tim Holtz Distress ink just to make it not so where it's white. I also already um, stamped three of my Polaroid stamps which I need to cut with my scissors and I stamped Miss Penny herself, I'm sorry, Miss Mimi herself and I'm going to color it in with some Copics. Alright, let's get started. Okay, I am done coloring in Miss Mimi, and I ended up using, um, I would tell you, but it was so many, I just was kind of going to town. I ended up using quite a bit of my distress markers, um, such as sponge sugar, antique linen, Victorian velvet, of course the black, some yellows, and things of that nature. And then I used um, a couple of my Copics from my Sea and Sky set on the tub and the surrounding area. So because of the bubbles around her, I thought it'd be fun if I used glossy accents to kind of put them on the bubbles to give them like a little glossy feel. So I'm going to go on and do that now. So it could sit off to, oh, so it could sit off to the side and dry. And then we'll take a look at, I'm just going to put like a little dab on the bubbles. And I think with that blue underneath it is going to kind of make it pop. I could already kind of see it popping. Oh, 
Okay. So let me see if I can get it up close. Of course, it's got to dry. Get it up close so you can see it here. Let me focus here. All right, there she is. And you kind of see a little bit of the glossy accents on there already. So we're going to put her to the side and let her dry and move to the next step. Okay, I got my cuddle bug here, and I'm going to use this folder, and I wish I knew the name of this folder, but um, it has a pretty print on it, but I'm not sure what it is. But my only complaint with the cuddle bug folders, and I'm sure you've experienced the same thing, is you get a piece of paper, and you have this, and a lot of times your piece of paper doesn't match the size of the cuddle bug folder. So... You find yourself either A, not being able to use it or trying to finagle some way to like do it all on here. So what I'm going to do since most of this is going to be covered is I'm going to run it through twice. So I'm going to put it up here and then when I run it through again, I'm going to put it down here and hope that at least I get the, the whole thing. Because if I do it this way, I'm going to be doing it this way, this way. So I'm going to do it this way to get it the length of it, the width of it, I'm sorry, and run this through. So I want to line it up where it looks like it makes sense at least okay so let's put this in and i know cuddlebug or provocraft rather has came up with some larger cuddlebug folders so it makes it a little bit easier to deal with larger larger sheets of paper but look how pretty that is so I'm going to run it through again and try to put it on here because I'm not too concerned about it overlapping and it being noticeable because I'm going to have stuff on top of it. So hopefully it won't be too noticeable. So I'm to make sure I at least have it lined up good where it looks like it was a continuous. So I'm only going to, I'm going to do it on this side and I'm going to stop it. Uh-oh, I moved. I'm going to stop it right at that point so it won't go over the part already done so you have to kind of pay attention here so I'm going to stop it right at that point and then bring it back and what you hope will happen is it'll look like one continuous thing which it does there's a little bit here you could tell that's not lined up but when you have stuff on top of it nobody will see it so the one thing that matters is the top and the bottom okay pretty pretty so let's put this away and get ready for the next step okay I figured since I have my cuddle bug out I'll go on and cut out my flower I'm using um, the Sizzix creative bow I mean bow creative flower die and what I noticed is if you want your bow or your flower to have different colors for the layers it's best to cut out little slips of paper for your different layers and place them on the sit on the die so that so that when you're cutting it out you can cut it all out at once okay so I'm going to put this on here uh oh sorry about that sorry put my top one on here send it through and Voila, I have all of them cut out at once. I can throw the little scraps away and then I can set it up for the next one. So I've already cut them all out here and I went on and inked the edges with my Distress Ink, my Victorian, Victorian Velvet. I just love how the ink looks. Now I'm going to try this flower. There's a strong possibility it is too big. Like I said, it's my first time using this flower, so I'm not sure what size it's gonna be. Okay. 
Okay, I've tried my best to fluff this flower out. This is the end result. Um, I don't know if I really like it, to be honest with you. And the more I play with it on this card, I think it's too big. I think if it was by itself on a card, it'd be pretty. If it was on a gift, it'll be nice. If it was on like a gift bag or something like that. I mean, by itself, I think it'll make a really pretty card. But I think for what I want to do it with, what I want to use it for, I don't think it, it's going to it's going to be um, useful. And I did think about taking away this back layer and using the top, which is an option. I could if I just have to use the flower. There she is. I've already adhered her to the card, to my Polaroid. But you can see, you can see the little glossy accents on it. I think it came out really cute because I do need to work on my shading skills or my coloring skills, but I think overall it came out really cute. So I've decided I'm going to go on and scrap this flower because I think it's too big. Even if I situate it on here like such, it just makes the card, I'm trying to get where you can see it, it just makes it really bulky. And then I won't have a spot to put my stamp. So while I do like this flower, I, I'm going to definitely use it for something else because it could always be on a card by itself or it could be on top of a present or on a gift bag and I think if you like sprayed it with some shimmer mist and maybe wet it just a little bit to kind of shape it and once it dries it'll keep the form and then glue it I use tape um, just to glue it because if you don't it'll do this whole moving thing so I think it's a cute dye I just it's just gonna it's gonna take some tweaking so I'll be right back I'm gonna find oh and I have this strip of brown to put here so I'm gonna find something to put in our center uh, for some more embellishments probably another flower so I'll be right back okay I found actually found these little flowers in my stash and I bought them so long ago like so many moves ago and I bought them from big lots and you'd be surprised what you could find at big lots but it's really pretty flowers. I think what I'm going to do is instead of putting my Celebrate You down here, I'm going to put it on the actual Polaroid, this little section on the Polaroid. And I'm going to spread these out on this brown slip and adhere them like this. And then I think I'm going to be done. I think, I'm, I think it came out really pretty. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I stamped my Celebrate You on my Polaroid. and kind of press down hope that's centered and here is my final product i like it a lot i think it came out really cute even though we had to make them alterations here at the end but hey that's what card crafting and being imaginative and having a good time is what it's all about honestly so um again and then if i want to fill out i could put a gift card right here and put you know my handwritten sentiment down here about congratulations on your your engagement or whatever whatever the case might be so there's the finished card I'll put some pictures at the end and if you haven't already please subscribe or comment or like or thumbs up or what have you and share with your friends and stay tuned for tomorrow for another card thank you for watching bye bye